It's really exciting to see more and more open source models are being released by open source community almost every day. And one of the model that was released just a few months ago was by Meta and that was Llama 3.2. And I did a more comprehensive tutorial on this model usage for free using Together's AI API provider in this channel. You can go and check that video using this link. However, the reason why I am shooting this video is because just weeks back, Ulama released that same Llama 3.2 vision model on their model repository. That means now you can run and use this model on your local desktop and that really opens up a whole lot of possibilities. It's not that we didn't have any vision model before using Ulama, right? We of course have Lava models before. However, in my testing, Llama 3.2 vision model was far, far more superior. So let's quickly go to our desktop and see how we can use this model for a real life use case for absolutely free. Okay, so now I am in my desktop, as you can see. And before I go ahead and install the Llama model, let me first show you my desktop configuration. So as you can see, I have only an AMD 4600Z CPU, which is a very, very low powered CPU. It's not a very, you know, beefy CPU. And I have actually installed some additional RAM just to run multiple models. So I have a 64 GB RAM. However, if I open my task manager, you'll see that I have a GPU, which is only having 12 GB uh, in size. And this is an RTX 3060 GPU, which is again, not a very powerful GPU. However, I'm still gonna try and I'm gonna show you, you can still go and go ahead and run the Llama 3.2 vision model with this spec. Now, here is the Ulama library where you can see all the models that they have released. I'll keep the link in the descriptions. And this is the Llama 3.2 vision model. And they have released both the 11 and 90 billion model you can use and you can download and you can run in your local computer. However, with this spec, we won't be able to run the 90 billion model as you can understand. So we will run the 11 billion model. So I'm just gonna copy that Olama run 3.2 and I have already installed the Olama in my Windows machine. So it's already available, you know, so download and install it as usual and then just run it. Now, if you're running it for the first time, it will take some time to get it downloaded. Now I have done the download already. So hopefully it will run smoothly. Let's see. Now this is I'm running while the recording and everything is going on in the computer. So I hope that this wouldn't actually break the video. Now, as you can see, it actually took a little bit of time to run the model as opposed to when I run a 7 billion parameter or 6 billion parameter models. And that's fine. So what you can just say, hi. So I'm just gonna ask, do you have a vision capabilities? What can you do from a vision capability? Yeah, so it says that it can actually do some image description and visual question answering, object detections, which is good. That's what we need for the use case that we are going to do just in a few minutes, as you will see. So I'm just going to close that and then we're gonna go and show you the app that I have built to use this Llama 3.2 vision model efficiently and in a more useful way. Okay, so let's see to the next section. Now, if you are following this channel, you already know that we cover mostly app development related stuff in this channel. So we really need to test this Llama 3.2 vision model in our local using a useful app. And let me introduce you to one of my latest simple, effective, yet useful app created completely using AI. And this app is called NoOrg. This is a screenshot organizer app which runs completely locally and for free. You can configure up to three folders to make the app track for any screenshots and images. And it can use Llama 3.2 or any other vision models to read the images and organize it properly. You know, as a techie, we take a lot of screenshots and our desktop gets so much messy. So that is the reason I thought of this app idea. At the moment, the app supports both the Together AI APIs Llama 3.2 Vision as well as the local Olama powered Llama 3.2 Vision because both of them can be used for free. 
The main reason of using this app using the local version is because you may have privacy data in your desktop. So you do not probably want to share the data with some third party provider like your financial data. So that is why even this app is much more useful when you use it with your local Olamo models. So now I have opened my ID and I am already inside the screenshot organizer app that I have created. And all we have to do is just create a Python environment. It's all simple. You have already probably know it. Just write like, do like this and give it a name like screenshot test and then give it like Python version, which is 3.10. So it's all simple. Once you create it, activate the environment and then you have to run pip install minus r requirement.txt. Now, why I'm not going into the more details because I'm not going to go through the entire code base and how I have built it in this video because otherwise this video will become very long. So if you really are interested, please let me know in the comments or give it a like to the video so I will know it and I will definitely cover it into the next video. Now, I just wanted to show you the features. Um, so let's just run the app. Now, once I run it, it should come up like this and here you can just do a quick registration and once you do the registration just click done and then you will get to the screen you can go to the folder and then you can browse three folders so if you just click browse and you can go to the folder let's say this one and i have kept some screenshots in this folder and just select it now let me just quickly show you so here i have kept a couple of different type of screenshots here in this folder so let's see if we are able to do the categorizations properly or not now once you do that we're just going to click save folder it will save it and then we come to settings here you can use both together ai and olama at the moment we are going to add more provider in the future so we are just going to use olama in this case because we want to run it for free and we want to run it locally right and here you have to update the model so we will open the command prompt once again and we were just going to run olama list so we know the model so this is the model just gonna copy that and update it here and save the settings now once that is all done you can directly start processing so once you hit start processing oh yes it will ask you to accept the consent because i'm planning to actually export this app as a desktop app and i'm just gonna publish it for free so yes if you really want to get access to the app let me know so if you really want to have the app uh, so just the link should be there to the community so please come and join the community where i will post the link to this app uh, where you can download it and you, you can use it for free now once you do that just click the consent button and click start processing and as you can see it has started sending all the images one by one to the model for doing the categorization so let's go to the folder and see whether it is able to do that properly or not as you can see it has started creating the folder so we'll wait and see how that process goes now you can see that it's a bit slow because of course my, as i have shown you my pc is not really that beefy so because of that it's a bit slow but that it works and that's what matters to me right now one of the best part of this application is if i even close this app it will still be running on the background and it will keep track of any files that is coming into this folder and it will start to do the organization automatically. So I don't have to actually keep on to start processing every time, right? So once I have set the folder, it will eventually track that and it will start doing the automatic organizations. Now, let me know in the comments if you really want this app to have more features, if you want to do some sort of PDF tracking as well or other file kind of files tracking as well. So I can, can happily have all those features and I'll show you how to do that as well, right? Now, at the moment, I'm going to build an executable for the app and I'm going to distribute the app. And as I've said, please come to the community and ask for it or check for any of my thread where I have posted the link so you can download the app and use it for absolutely free, no question asked. Of course, we can improve and widen its feature to be used in multiple other use cases and file formats, but I'd love to know your input before I add any other features into it. So please come and join the community and let me know what you want to see in this app added as new features. And by the way, if you want me to cover the process that I used to build this whole no org app using AI, 
let me know in the comments as well and give this video a like and once i get 100 likes in this video i will know your learning need and i'll release the in-depth step-by-step tutorial in this channel for you to learn how to use ai effectively to create this kind of desktop apps believe me the likes and the comments are really the only way i would know what your content and learning needs are to refine my videos more towards your need and if you really want to say thanks please subscribe to the channel that would mean so much to me it is so fascinating to create such an app just using ai coding abilities right of course you can't create an app with multiple features like this with a, with a single prompt yet probably we need to wait a little bit until agi is here for that meanwhile if you really want to know and learn how to use ai effectively not just build but launch your SaaS out to the world you really should not miss our SaaS course as we are still in the pre-launch phase and you would get the best discount at this phase when i first launched this course it was sold with 1999 pound and now it's already 50 pound you see it's only going go up as we release more chapters more lessons and we get more members in our SaaS mastermind weekly catch-ups and in the course you would work directly with me launching your dream idea out to the world at the moment our weekly SaaS meetup meeting recording are free to watch so come join the community using the link below and see our meetup recording first before you decide whether the course is right for you or not I'll close this video here as it's too long already and in the next one we will come up with another such fascinating tutorial for you so thank you for watching take care and I'll see you on to the next one